Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video, we're gonna do uh, a little a little change in what we did in the first video. So if you guys remember, I think it was in the fourth video, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we wrote a byte array, a byte array to a file. Uh, in this video, we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna read a file to a byte array. So let's do this. Let's create a byte array called data, okay? And we're gonna use file dot read all bytes, which uh, we used file dot read write all bytes to write this to a file. And in today's video, we're gonna use read all bytes to read this file. So this is something very interesting because using this method, you could work with uh, other types of files other than texts, okay? But in this case, we're going to use this to work with text. But uh, as I said before, you can work with different types of files. So let's uh, read the file three.txt. Okay. And to print this, we need to do some changes here. Uh, we need to convert this byte array to a string. So we need to use encoding.utf8.getString and let's pass data. So this is how you can get the, the string. So let's execute. And you should see the text on file3.txt. So the text that we have there is this is a string in C sharp. Okay. So guys, if you guys pay attention, that's very clear. Um, the, the example here, if you guys have any doubts or any questions, you can comment down below to seek help or to communicate with the members of this community okay so thank you guys uh thank you again guys for watching this you guys next time